and give back to my community and just do something bigger than me. It's not just about me. It's about the people around you. How would you, I'll start off with you, cause I know how, but how would you describe how Vow TV came about and how it was established? Um, you called me one day and you was like, I got this podcast equipment, come over. <laughs> That's really how it started. Um, I know you've been wanting to do it for mad long, but yeah. We always had those talks though. We always had talks like, Bro, what if we did a podcast? What if I did a podcast, bro? Yeah. Like, what'd it be called? I think that was the last conversation that we had, had before I went to go buy stuff, actually. It was like, what would we name it? Yeah, I, that's true. You came over and I was like, dead ass talking about it. Like, yeah. I was serious. And then we was texting back and forth. You were trying to figure out a name. And then you threw out some, some names. <laughs> I went crazy. And I'm terrible with coming up with names. So I was just like saying yes or no. And Aubrey was really just like, Dang, I was get like, coming up with the ideas. Chilling chilling in the basement, kicking in the basement, something like that. Yeah. Kicking in the basement. Uh, and it's crazy because we don't even be in the, in basement. the basement. I just got a basement. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a basement. Uh, what else? I can't remember what I was like came up white with. white tees and oh something. Oh my gosh, yes. I was like, no, that's no, not yeah. It was like white tees and something. But once she said valid, at first it was just valid. It was just valid. And then she came up with the acronyms for it. And I was like, nah, that yes. valid. Like, that's the one. That's it. You loved it? You yeah. Was, I seen the three dots. I said, okay. <laughs> that's it, right? Yeah, there. nah, that was the one. That's how that's you really know? how it came about. It was all Aubrey's idea, really. And then we just started, everything just started moving real fast from there. Legit, it was like, we just started hitting up people. I started hitting up people that I knew to kind of put together what we needed. The intro, the outro. It wasn't even full-blown COVID pandemic yet. It was like just about to hit. Just about to hit. Because I remember we filmed one here. We filmed two here. Mm -hmm. Like, we filmed two here. And the next thing you know, it was like COVID. Everybody stay in the house. I don't know what you want to do, bro. I'm with it. Shit, what are you gonna talk about? I don't know. We need a list of topics. We do need. We wanna make a list of topics. Yeah, let's make some topics. All right, I've been writing shit. Should down. we do current events or just like random shit? Yeah, coronavirus is the first one. Coronavirus. <laughs> Mom, you making tacos, right? See what she just asked me. That was question. I'm making tacos. So you, know, you said you was making tacos. <laughs> Coronavirus. She's getting real. Yeah. And I was like, was... dang, okay, well, we could wait until after COVID's over. It was, that was like annoying though, because yeah. we had just started. It was yeah. like, we was just getting into it. And then it was like, damn, damn. we can't even. We can't film nothing. Yeah. And then the vibes when we were like together that were better like... than like, I still feel like they're better when oh, we're But together. when we're on Zoom. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's my favorite when we're together and we can actually like film something and actually yeah. do something like that's when I feel like I don't know It's just it just feels right. Like, yeah, I'm supposed to be here. Yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this But yeah, everything just started moving real fast Like I feel like as soon as we said like this is the podcast. This is valid TV once we got the logo in the intro and everything it felt like I right, this is about to get real Like instantly right after that and then to yeah. the studio like you said we gotta get a studio. Bro. Stay tuned. I'm gonna say like, how long do you think it's gonna take? I'm going for a year and a half. Really? Yeah, that's short. A year and a half is like that. But the only reason why I say a year and a half is because we've only been at this for like, what, three months now? Like three, four months. Yeah. Yeah, and so the like the foot traffic that we're getting right now, in the last, even our first two months, like us hitting a hundred subscribers in our first two months, I think, is definitely. Like, that's valid. Like, who... Not a lot of people are going to do that. You know, there's people out there who have YouTube channels for a while, and it takes yeah. a while for them to get And there. we're consistent. Like, every Thursday. Yes. Every Thursday, an episode is dropping. Yes, like, yes. And y'all don't even know the, the process that it takes. Like, sometimes we do film. Like, there was one time we filmed, like, on a Monday, and it had to be, had to drop on a Thursday. Like, but we get it done. Like, we merch was very helpful. I think the merch was definitely helpful at the time of us getting it. And it just so happened that once... I was in North Carolina, I remember, and once mm -hmm. the merge actually came was when we hit 100 subscribers. And from there, it was like... Oh, yeah. 
That was mm -hmm. that was perfect because once we got that shipment of twenty shirts, they were gone. They, remember, I sent you yours. Mm -hmm. and I was like, I don't got no more. So yeah. you got to push yours. Like, yeah. But bro, I'm pushing shirts. Like, wait, bro. I'll be like, take this shirt two for thirty. Like, come on, what you <laughs> need? Dead. What you need? What I feel like, like it became real to me when we started bringing like guests on. Mm. I don't know why. It just made like it like a bigger conversation to me. And then yeah. we could also tap into different audiences. Yep. So I think that's when it was like, for me, I was like, okay, that's this is true. like a real, this this, real this deal real doing this. We doing this for real. <laughs> <laughs> I be feeling bad. I be like, damn. I be yeah, mind you, we're up. both still working. Yes. While doing this. No unemployment. Full time. <laughs> Full time still working. Like. And I work after hours. Shelby works on Saturdays sometimes. So it's like we are constantly, I feel like we're just constantly working. Like, let alone the stuff that you do, like, for yourself and what you're trying to put out there. Like, you still do this. I still do this. We still do extra stuff. We mm -hmm. still got to take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. You about to move. So that's like everything you doing on top of moving, on top of everything else. You got sisters. So it's like, it's mad. Yeah. It's mad work. It is a lot of work. It's mad work. I was talking to somebody and they were saying how they wanted to start a podcast. And like, how's Valid TV going? I was like, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot yes. of work. And it's funny because all people see is just thursday we're thursday. dropping an episode or the instagram that's it yeah i feel like our main purpose is to have conversations and bring like awareness to things and topics that people wouldn't typically talk about um or may feel uncomfortable talking about mm -hmm. um i had somebody hit me up shout out to lewis he hit me up the day after um, the Heartbreak episode dropped. And he was like, I just wanted to let you know, like, I watched that, the last episode, and I found myself, like, screaming at my phone because it was just so true. Like, <laughs> and I'm like, exactly. Like, that's what we're here for, to have that conversation and be like, yeah. this is what people go through. It's okay. And be relatable. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what's most important is being relatable and letting people know that, like, it's okay to go through these things. It's okay to talk about it. Like, when you go through it, let's talk about it let's shoot the shit about it let's have a deep conversation about it and how you got over it so then if somebody else who's watching it has already gone through it or is going through it now they're gonna be like okay so this is just a bump in the road like, right and more importantly said, like you're not alone exactly like there's somebody who's going through the exact same thing that you're going through who feels exactly. the exact same way that you're feeling mm -hmm. and you can relate to that exactly. people can relate to other struggles other pain and I like that we bring that to light. That's why I like having yeah. those, like, not sad, but, like, those conversations where it's just, like, like, you have to kind of reflect yeah. and look back on, like, those low times because mm -hmm. it just shows you where you, where you, where you were and where you're going. Yes, you don't have to, you know, think the exact same way that I think, but mm -hmm. we can still talk about mm -hmm. it. Like, and respect okay. one another. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the main thing is just mm -hmm. respecting one another, respecting your story, respecting how you feel about it, and being okay with respecting that. It does not have to be argument. Right. Because <laughs> I don't always agree with what other people say. Yeah. I don't always agree with what Arby be thinking and saying right. sometimes. But at the end of the day, it's a respect level that we don't, we don't cross. What can we do to support one another and how can... I would say, how can Bella TV as well and show our supporters that we're supporting, like, mm -hmm. people in our community, for sure. DeAndre. Marquise. Howdy. Brain is our mod gods. Boston, we do auto detailing, which is mod gods auto salon. Hey, we your collection on the way, bro. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. Hey. Uh. Said I'm here again. Yeah, I'm here again. I'm in this bitch. Uh. Relevance, put the dividends, and do this shit. Niggas popping now. We got different shores, different hoes, different clothes, different everywhere we go. Well, uh, I used to do detailing a um, few years back. But I don't have the time to actually like, fully do it. So it's just like on a Sunday, I used to like go to my cousin's house in Brockton, wash a few cars, and then head back home. But now that we have a local spot, 
I took my customers here and just expanded my fellow partners here. How do you guys work together as like partners? How does it work? Well, now we on now we partners with family. You know what I mean? So we always do things together. You know what I mean? And we always want to do a shop, do a detailing shop. You know, the detail to the customers because a lot of customers don't get their car washed properly. You know what I mean? So that's why we really wanted to start this for the community. You know what I mean? Somewhere close that you can get your car properly detailed and you don't have to go far up to get it done. Yeah. So I'll ask you, what is the importance of you guys starting your brand in Boston? Like if you, what's the importance of it being in Boston, in Mattapan? Like is that even important to you guys? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because uh, like you just said, you wanted to be local. There's a lot of shops. Well, not even a lot. There's one shop, it's far out. And it's like, nobody would want to drive that far to go get their car done, worked on. We could come closer to your neighborhood, you know, just get everything done here one time. Yeah, we grew up in Boston. And that so too, of course, we want to keep it in Boston. Mm -hmm. What do you guys want people to understand most about your brand? Like, who you, got, who you are as people, what you guys represent, all of that? Well, local people want to keep them humble, make the community happy. Good prices, good product, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And also mm -hmm. want to show our work, you know, not just um, be that competition. So, yeah. do good work. Sure. That's facts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Great work. <laughs> What's you guys angle, like your bigger picture as far as Mongols Auto Simone? Well, the goal is to take it expand. to a bigger level, yeah. expand. You know, get a warehouse and we can do more things because we have more things coming other than detailing, you know what I mean? Yes. What's my guys? How'd you guys even come up with that name? Well, it's like a, it's like a, <laughs> say, because we have our car club, you know, my guys Boston, so it's us three and more people, primarily just us three. Mm -hmm. Co-founders. Co-founders, yep. So we just took that name and we swamped to it, so. Mm -hmm. Who, who inspires y'all the most to keep it pushing, keep it going? <laughs> well, all of us, actually, you know, we just keep pushing each other every day. Yeah, family, 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 friends. Yeah. You yeah. gotta be around people that's gonna motivate yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And we always motivate each other to do better. I wanna see you successful and mm -hmm. strive. Right. What's one, like the number one thing you guys want the people to know the most about my guys, honestly? To always keep on their mental when they think of my gods. Quality work. Quality. Yeah, quality. That's real. That's real. If you can collab with anybody in the city of Boston, who would you collab Black with? Black TV! <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> basically. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what I mean. I've been hearing that. I've been hearing that. All yeah, right. We're gonna take it to a different level, so we we gotta build. We build our own brand. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I would say, how is it important for you guys to even build your own brand, especially now during COVID nineteen, everything's going on in the world right now. You know, against us black and brown people, how how do you guys stick together in the midst of everything going on in the world and building your business as well? It's very That's why fulfilled. I really want, really want to build a business because when you when you say auto detailing place, mm -hmm. most times it's the, it's the other color that has that has those spots you know what I mean that's doing the detailing and stuff like that so we want to do it for our people our community yeah definitely heavy on the road cause they outside the veto they trust you if you down with my people Shit don't be consistent unless you pressing from the free throw Always in some drama, you just talk but it ain't deep though Get outside your place, my niggas popping on no Rico Keep it low, keep a high key, you don't want beef though uh, Instagram has the prices Follow us on Instagram, Mob Gods Boston Right there Right, located in the Matter Pen 678 Park Hill Street Right We have every day, seven days every a week, day. baby Come through, get your car clean Yes, it is Thank you.